Welcome, everybody, to Mike Murderer's Tuesday Night Massacre Reviewer Show. You see, I am your BWC Tuesday Night Massacre Reviewer's Champion. You see, let's get into the BWC Massacre Review from August. Oops, 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 hold on. From August 13th, 2013, uh, August 13th, 2013. You see, the first match was supposed to be Cameron Elrod going one-on-one -on -one against Incredible D. Well, during the match, before the match even happened, the Incredible D was kidnapped. And so yours truly... Went into this match. Went into this match against Elrod. You see, Elrod, we did promos. And you say you want to start a group to defeat the Unholy Alliance. You want to bring in Lamont. You want to bring in Pinrod. Well, you know what? I do not want to be in your group. You see, I work alone. I work alone every single day of my wrestling career. You see, tonight, you defeated, you defeated me. One-on-one, -on -one, mano y mano. You defeated Mike Murderer. And how did you win that match? Well, <laughs> you won by barricade countout. You see, Elrod, I'm not done with you yet. I'm not done with your pathetic, your pathetic career yet. You see, next Tuesday, I want a rematch. No countouts. No disqualifications. <laughs> Last man standing. You see, next week, you will face somebody else. But I will keep an eye on you. And if we have to face. In a number one, number one contender match. For the BWC United States Champion. Well I'm sorry to say young man. You will lose. To the champion. You see I am the BWC Tuesday Night Massacre Reviewers Champion. And I hold. The belt to prove it. But you see, Elrod, congratulations, you beat me. You beat not the best yet. I'm not considering myself the best. You want to be a mid card, you beat a mid card wrestler. But let's put that all to the side. Let's get into our second match of the evening. It was for the BWC United States Championship. This was a rematch from BWC Independence Day. It was Joshua Penrod defending his BWC United States Championship against the Nighthawk. You see, Joshua Penrod, you beat Nighthawk. Hawk. You beat Nighthawk. But see, you're looking at possibly your next target. Your next target on your back. That'd be me. Yours truly. Michael the Axe Murderer. <laughs> but see, I'll never get that title shot. I'll never get it. And ever in my career. Because you see, if... 
Cameron Elrod gets that chance at that BWC United States Championship, it will be a big mistake. Because you see, I put my heart, I put my blood, I put my sweat in that ring every night to prove to try and prove that I could beat the best, and I couldn't beat the best. So Joshua Penrod is still your BWC United States Championship, and now we get into a third match. It was a PK Punk's Street Fight Challenge. You see, it was PK Punk going one-on-one -on -one against the best, my best friend, the guy that I respect ever so dearly when him and I faced each other. We beat the hell out of each other. We beat the senseless out of each other against Matt Maverick. And you see, Matt Maverick, congratulations on winning your match against PK Puke. Oh, wait, I meant PK Punk. You see, PK Punk, you want to look for another street fight challenger? <laughs> Maybe you could be looking at this guy, Mike Murderer. You see, I'm now four and three. It don't matter what the streak is. It don't matter what wins and losses I have. All that matters is getting respect. You see, I've gotten some of the respects from some of the greatest superstars in BWC history. But I'll get some, I'll get respect from some of them. See, I got, I get respect from Shaw Ray, because Shaw Ray is leaving us next month. Shaw Ray will be leaving us next month, but I hope she wins against Pandora for the World Heavyweight Championship at Summer Heat 2013. So let's get in our fourth match of the night is Shaw Ray and Rico, uh, Rico Hinomoto versus Pandora and Death Candy. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of that match was Pandora and Death Candy. And in our fifth match of the night, it was the Bomber. Going one on one against Bam Colbert, Cobalt, Cobalt in an Extreme Rules match. You see, Bam Colbert, Cobalt uh, kidnapped the Incredible D. Now, Dark Asylum has been pretty much devastated by the Unholy on the Unholy Alliance. Because uh, Sasha Fierce has been kidnapped, Saw Ray or uh, uh, Shay has been kidnapped, the Incredible D has been kidnapped. You see, the Unholy Alliance. You want to come around. You want to come around. BWC and say you think you're the best alliance in history. Well, let me tell you something, punks. Yeah, I'm gonna call you punks. You see, Pete. Uh, you see your little Kirk, your Kevin Girk, gets a title shot. At the Backbreakers Championship against the greatest damn superstar in history, DWX. At BWC's Summer Heat 2013. Well, you see, the Unholy Alliance, you think you can come around here and you think you can try and kidnap people and think you, you're the greatest group in the history of this company, you're not. But your winner of that match was Bomber. Bomber tore the hell out of Cam, a Bam Colbert, Cobalt. So ladies and gentlemen, in our main event of the evening, I think this is the match of the night. It was Magnum Storm. Going one on one against Lucifer because Magnum Storm has now been um, next week on BWC Massacre. It will be Magnum Storm going one on one 
against Shaw Ray for the BWC World Heavyweight Championship. But could Magnum Storm win this match? And pretty much the Unholy Alliance has dominated the night. You see, the Unholy Alliance has dominated this company from the first start. But now, Shaw Ray, you need to win this match. You see, you need to win this match against Magnum Storm. You need to go into Summer Heat 2013. And I think you need to beat the living hell out of Pandora. I don't care if you make her bleed. I don't care if you make her burn. Pandora needs to be stopped. So, Shaw Ray, I hope you win your match next week. And I hope you beat the living hell out of Pandora. And you stay here in BWC and you challenge me for the BWC World Heavyweight Championship. Whenever I get a chance. So, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for your BWC Massacre Review Show. I am yours truly, Michael the Axe Murderer, and I am your BWC Tuesday Night Massacre Champion. But a lot of you guys, you can stop this video. You see... I want to talk about this mystery guy, this mystery guy that's coming around with a mask thinking he's all big and bad. Let me tell you something, mystery boy. I hope this Saturday you reveal who you are. Because you see, you come around threatening Jacob, you come around threatening Preston, you come around threatening... Scott, that you will take over Wrestling Renegades. I dare you to try. I dare you to try to take over the channel. Because the Wrestling Renegades belongs to the true legends. The BWs, that channel belongs to the four best damn promoters, promo guys ever in history. So, Mr. Guy, you think again. You think you try. Try and try to get rid of Wrestling Renegades. Because, you see, I will destroy you, Mystery Guy. I don't know where you're at. I don't know where you are. <laughs> because you will reveal yourself. If you don't, I will come to where. Ever you made your videos, and I will take that mask off myself. So this Saturday, you meet me outside. You reveal yourself outside to everybody. Don't reveal it. Don't reveal yourself in here. Reveal yourself outside where it's dark and gloomy for you. I'll see you guys. Next time, next Tuesday night, Massacre. Same time, same Massacre. Same Mike the Axe Murderer. Ta-ta. Been so long, long hard days. Them say, God changed my ways. Change my ways with evil ways. Send down across the way. Then now they can pay change my way the evil way